Hi, welcome back. I am Akhileshwari. In this video, let us see how to use all function to achieve some requirements. Here the requirement is to give the total number of transactions count without any category filter applied on it. Means here we can see that there are few categories. For each category, we are getting the total number of transactions, count of transactions. The total number of transactions for all the categories is 52. I need to display the total count of transactions per category as well as total number of transactions. That means 52 for every category row. To achieve that, we can use all function. All function will ignore the filters applied on the table and give you the total, in total rows from the table. Let us add the measure. Naming it as total transactions. Using the calculate function to write an expression and filter. The expression is count of payments table transaction ID. My payment transaction ID is unique and the count of this transaction ID will give me the count of transactions. When I'm counting the transactions, I need, need to ignore the category filter applied on it. So I'm just using the all function. You can see here, which will return all the rows in the table by ignoring the filters applied on it. I'm passing the payments table so that all the values will be considered when we are counting the transaction ID. Let me add the total transactions, the measure we have created to this table. See, the count of transactions, is, total count of transactions is 52, and we can see the 52 is being displayed for each category row, irrespective of category filter. So when we need to achieve some requirements to uh, by ignoring some filters being applied on it, we can use the all function. Here we can pass the table name or any specific column name. Thank you.